Barakat Day Yahweh, Barakat Day Yahweh Shai, all praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Akak, Badash, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai being the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Peace, grace, and mercy be upon the house of David, the Bayath Dawada, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel, and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned the truth from. Peace, salutations, and honors and blessings to the men that are pushing the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in all sincerity, diligence, and truth, and to the men, women, and children that stay in the Holy Spirit and keeping the faith of Yahweh Shai to the best of your ability, day in, day out, to USA Shalom. All right, so um, just uh, once again, so something I was uh, meditating on, something, you know, uh, me and another brother was speaking about um, yesterday, <coughs> and me and uh, one of the other elders was speaking about Saturday, uh, you know, during camp, uh, just on how, you know, um, being in this truth, you got to, you got to, uh, you gotta remember about the uh you know the the things to come all right you gotta you gotta set your mind on you know the 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 positive of uh of this walk okay the reward of this walk you know you can't get too caught up in a negative you can't get too caught up in uh you know the complaining and the uh you know the the, the vexation you know you gotta have the balance and you gotta meditate also on the uh the good all right you gotta meditate on on the fact that you have this truth all right you gotta you gotta, uh, you know, remind yourself about the kingdom to come, okay? Even though we're in this world, you know, and we, we, we have to go through the daily, you know, hell that we go through, but in order to bring peace, as Yahweh Shai said, um, and let me get that real quick. As Yahweh Shai said, uh, peace I leave with you, in order to get that, uh, you know, in order to have that peace, you gotta, you know, meditate on that peace, all right? And, 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 and one thing I said is like, when you read the Gospels, when you read, you know, what Yahweh Shai was saying, you know, uh, uh, Yahweh Shai was speaking uh, optimistically towards the elect, all right, towards the hopeful elect who we, you know, hope to hope to be, all right? That's why, well, I, that's why we're in this, you know, doing fighting this fight of faith in the first place because we hope to be a part of that uh, that number, giving our diligence, making our calling and election sure. So to, to the elect, Yahweh Shai was um, speaking was speaking uh, optimistically to them, all right? He was given, he was speaking uh, things of hope, all right? So, you know, even though we have, you know, even though we deal with a lot of hell now, you know, even though we deal with a lot of uh, uh, stress and vexation now, understand that we got something even greater coming, all right? We got even more things to, to rejoice about, all right? Yeah, we got stuff to complain about, but we got even more to rejoice about, okay? Hey, and, you know, through the spirit, I'll title it, I'll title it that. All right, this is, um, where is it at? The book of, I believe it's in St. John. Yeah, book of St. John, chapter 14, verse, um, I start at, um, I start at 26. It says, but the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Okay, the comforter, all right? The Holy Spirit, which brings these things into our remembrance, which brings the, the hope, the joy, the the uh, uh, rejoicing, all right, of uh, of the uh, promise to come, okay, the, the, the world to come. When you think about those things, it comforts you, okay? Because this world is not comforting, excuse me. This world is not gonna comfort you, all right? This world is not gonna put you at ease. You know, the things of this world are not um, are not uh, something that was is gonna is gonna we're gonna find rest. But the Holy Spirit, which teaches us, you know, the things uh, of of what the Spirit feeding our spirit, though that is the Comforter. Okay, that is what's gonna you know let us have peace. All right, verse uh, twenty seven, it says, "Peace I leave with you." That's <clears throat> like it. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither be, let it be afraid. Okay? So it says, peace. And how I said, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as this world giveth. You see? We are not of this world. So your mentality, your mentality shouldn't be of this, of this, uh, uh, you know, of this frequency. Okay? 
of this vibration. Our mentality is what? Set your set your affections on things above. And when you, you know, uh, uh, constantly and diligently meditate on things above, when you meditate about, you know, uh, uh, you know, the kingdom, uh, you know, having our people, you know, all all in righteousness and unison. OK, when you are meditating and, you know, imagine, so to speak, through the spirit, uh, um, having your, your, your house in order, your women with you. OK, the, the earth, you know, being beautified. OK, Yahweh Shai reigning. OK, the uh, the elect and, and authority, us in, in jewels and, and uh, uh, you know, precious stones and pearls. OK, the food being, uh, 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 you know, good. OK, the, these devils being out of power. All right. Uh, Israelites being reverenced as the sons of God on the earth, the most high dealing with us, you know, not being ashamed to be to, to call us his people. Again, when you meditate on these things, it brings peace, man. All right. Instead of just meditating all on the vexation of this world and the hell of this world and and having to get up to go to work and all this and that. Hey, look, man, instead of waking up vexed. Wake up, you know, thanking the Lord that you are still in his truth. Thanking the Lord that you still have your, you know, your senses about you. Okay? Thanking, thanking Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for being long-suffering, for having mercy. Okay? For have, for for uh, for for keeping you in his truth. Hey, for giving you the, the, the knowledge. All right? And you'll, you'll find out, you'll see that you will bring, you have way less stress, you know, uh, uh, in your life if you start meditating on the 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 positives of being in the truth man okay because this is the most positive thing that you could be in all right yeah it's the furnace of affliction but with the when even when the um the disciples even when the disciples was getting beat they they rejoiced because they they uh counted themselves you know worthy to be um they counted themselves worthy to be a uh, 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 afflicted for the name of the lord let me see if i can get that all right so even in even in the uh, affliction, you can rejoice in that, man, because that right there can be a, is a sign that that the uh, that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is uh, uh, dealing with you. Let me see if I can um, see if I can find that real quick. <clears throat> All right, uh, I know it's in the Book of Acts. Gone. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse, um, verse, uh, start at 40. It says, and, and to him they agreed, and when they had, when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded them that they should not speak in the name of Yahweh Shai and let them go. And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were accounted uh, worthy to suffer shame for his name. Okay, so they just got beaten. They just got ridiculed. They just got, uh, uh, you know, cursed out basically by 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 the council of the uh, the, the those uh, chief uh, uh, men of Israel. All right, that didn't believe on Yahweh Shai. All right, and you know this was done uh, publicly. Okay, <clears throat> and so instead of going going back and you know murmuring and complaining and and, and being vexed, the the men of the Lord, the apostles. They what? They were they went back, they departed rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. Okay? So they they looked at it as look, man, hey, this is a blessing. All right? They rejoiced in the fact that they were counted uh, um uh worthy to suffer shame for the namesake of Yahweh Shai. And why is that? Because when you go to the book of Luke, let me see. Uh, the book of Luke, chapter um six, verse twenty. Two, it says, blessed are ye when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. Rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in the like manner did their fathers also unto the prophets. You see? So, it's, so that's the mentality that you're supposed to be in. Rejoicing in the fact that people separate themselves from you, for people uh, uh, mock you, okay? Rejoice in the fact that you are looked at as being weird, or you looked at as being uh, 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 funny, okay? You know, uh, for 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 confessing the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, for not going after the ways of this world, not being indulged in the things that these 
these uh, uh, wicked people of our people are indulging and just, you know, in general, okay? You're supposed to rejoice in that day. And he said, rejoice in it. He said, rejoice in that day and, and leap for joy. So you're supposed to have an exciting joy, you know, for the fact that you're being uh, a hated or, or for the namesake of Yahweh Shai, okay? Look at it on the on the positive side of these things, man. Not don't always look at it. Oh yeah, my parents they're 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 talking this. Hey, look, man, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna feel that type of way. How they're gonna feel? Okay, these people in this world they're gonna feel the way they feel about you, regardless of of you getting angry or you getting vexed. And of course, you know sometimes you know you can't help it. Sometimes you get hot. All right, and that's the balance though. But you can't stay in that mentality. All right, because that that mentality would would drain you. All right, you always just walking around just angry you always just got that mean you know uh uh you know uh <laughs> just vibration about you if you always in that in that spirit man it will drain you all right and that's why sometimes hey you gotta you gotta uh uh sometimes you gotta just go go on a, on a ride somewhere you know go up to the you know a secluded area you know whether it just has you know some greenery or if it's a a place where like you got a lake or a pond you know where it is not you're not really around all these vibrations of, of, of this world and just meditate man or if you just in your house by yourself and just meditate on the glory that's coming okay actually let me get that just meditate on the glory that's coming you know and and, and meditate on the fact that we have the truth we have the knowledge that this world can't receive man okay we have a gift you know we have a gift sent straight from the spirit world that no man can take from us so when you got that, when you when you realize when you get a gift that precious, what did Yahweh Shai say about the uh, about the kingdom of heaven? You know, he says the kingdom of heaven is likened to a man, you know, it's likened to a treasure that's in the field, and a man he sold everything he had just to buy that field so he can get that treasure. Okay, meaning there's nothing incomparable. There's nothing in comparison to this truth that we have, man. Because why? Because if this if we be a part of that elect, the our reward is great in heaven, man. All right, and you gotta really truly believe that <clears throat> that you are part of the elect. Okay, you gotta believe that you know that you that you are part of the elect. That's what faith is. You know, we believe through the spirit that hey, if we if we uh, 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 endure to the end, we're going to be a part of that number that the Lord is going to say, "Well done, my good and faithful servant." If you don't believe that, then then what you in this thing in the first place for? Okay. What you in this thing in the first place for if you don't truly believe that you are, are are doing the things that that is pleasing unto the most high and if you're not doing the things that are pleasing to the most high to the best of your ability then do it you know then do it because the lord is still long suffering man okay the lord is still uh uh uh, uh supping all right he's still the doors of repentance is still open you know so um i wanted to get something else you know, because, you know, once again, man, there's, there's, there's a lot that we can complain about, but there's way more that we can rejoice about. And that's what, you know, your mind should be focused on. This is the book of, uh, second Ezra chapter nine. <clears throat> book of second Ezra chapter nine, verse 13. It says, and therefore be not cur uh, curious how the ungodly shall be punished. And when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is and whom the world is created. Okay, because, you know, oftentimes, you know, uh, 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 we speak about the, the, the two thirds being destroyed. We speak about these wicked niggas and, and these wicked women or we can't wait to see their destruction. We can't wait to see that they get their 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 just uh, due for, you know, not hearkening unto the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai not uh, 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 obeying the words of the Lord. But right here, we should rather look for the, how the righteous are going to be saved. And, 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 uh, it says, and uh, it says, inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Okay? It says who the world has created. Because that's who we hope to be a part of. We hope to be a part of the ones who are going to be delivered. So instead of focusing too much attention, because of course, like I said before, we got to always have the balance. So instead of focusing too much energy on how the how the ungodly is going to be punished and win, but rather focus on how the righteous are going to be saved, okay? And then think about the 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 
the strangeness of that salvation, the 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 uh, the miraculous deliverance that we're going to have. Okay, because when we speak, when we do these lessons, we're really doing it for the believers. You know, of course, you got scoffers come up and and people reprobates and mockers, but we do these lessons. You know, we go out on the highways and the byways to fish out the elect. Okay, which is who the uh, the righteous. So we should be more focused on giving, delivering the message uh, to them about, you know, uh, 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 the message of exhortation, the message of keep enduring, because we got, we have a, a lively hope. We have a, a, a grand f a future coming, immortality, all right? Once again, that's what Yahweh Shai was speaking about, man. He was speaking to the uh, hopeful elect. Of course, he spoke to the, the wicked Pharisees and, and he cursed out, you know, uh, uh, those, those people who didn't believe, okay? But ultimately, he had the words of life unto who? Unto the elect, the hopeful elect, man. All right, the words of immortality, the words of eternal life. All right, that's why he said, uh, uh, peace I, li I leave unto you. All right, does he also said this? Um, this is the book of John chapter um, 16, verse 33. This is one of my favorite uh, scriptures. It says... Um, John chapter 16, verse 33 says, These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In this world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. All right? So the Lord already overcome the world, man. So we should have good cheer. We should be we should be excited, you know, about, about the things to come, man. All right? Because, look, if we were in the mindset of a two-third, and we knew this, and we knew this truth, then we should be afraid. Then you should be uh, uh, vexed because you know what's coming to you. You know the destruction that lies ahead. But if you are, are, are given diligence to make your call and election sure, if you are trying, if you are, are daily, you know, uh, uh, you know, thinking about how to please the Most High, keeping His commandments to the best of your ability, then you should be of good cheer because then you know ultimately that the Lord has something coming for you, man. Okay, actually, let me get that. You know that the Lord has 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 power coming for you. He has he has a spiritual power. He has immortality. He has a kingdom. Okay, coming for the ones who are doing what His will. This is out of the book of Revelation, chapter twenty-two, verse. Uh, I start at eleven. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. You see, so the ones who are are, are are ungodly, hey, and let them be ungodly, man. Okay, you're not going to change the mind of an ungodly person, but rather, all right, we're not sent to the uh, un, we're not sent to try to persuade the two thirds. We're try, we're sent to wake up the elect that are that are are, are might now right might uh, right now might uh, uh, be in the mentality of a two third. Okay. But we're sent to wake up the elect. So that's why the scripture talks about, you know, after one or two admonishments, you know, basically uh, uh, cast, them, cast them off, you know, leave them alone. Okay, because if he's not going to get it, then he's just not going to get it. That's why it says he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be, okay? And that's what we're looking for. <clears throat> we're looking for the reward of doing, of the works that we're putting in, man, okay? We're looking for the reward. You, you shouldn't be looking for the reward of what the wicked is doing. We know what their reward is. We know that they're gonna, they're gonna be destroyed, okay? It's written. They're gonna, whoever takes that chip, they're gonna be thrown into the, into the lake. And we gotta prophesy about that. We gotta warn, warn, that, warn them, you know, about that. But I'm speaking more so when you're by yourself, you know, when you're, you know, on, on your, you know, <clears throat> on your walk alone. Don't put too much energy on focusing, oh, man, I can't wait till these niggas get destroyed. I can't wait till this, this bitch get what she deserved. Look, man, <laughs> you can't, the Lord already, the Lord already got it set in stone what was going to happen to them. So you over here just getting vexed. You over here just getting mad every day, you know, uh, 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 you know getting high blood pressure, <laughs> Because you're just always just meditating on the on the negative, you know, you're gonna cause yourself to wear out, man. Okay, we already got this world trying to wear us out. Hey, that's why Yahweh Shai said, you know, uh um, 
basically don't don't think about the evil. Uh, actually, let me just get it. You know, don't uh, um, don't worry about tomorrow, man, because tomorrow it, the wickedness is sufficient in itself. I believe it's something like that. Yeah, this is um, Matthew chapter six. I'm gonna start at uh, start at th uh, thirteen. That's a lot. Matthew chapter six, verse thirty. It says, "Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which is today, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into into the oven, shall He not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith?" Yeah, because Yahweh was going in into what, how we shouldn't take no thought on you know what what we shall eat and what we shall wear, okay? Rather, just understand that hey, the Lord is going to provide for you, man. Okay, this is uh, verse thirty-one. It says, take therefore no thought, saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For all these things do the Gentiles seek. All right? And, and you see how the Lord made a separation between his, uh, from, from the elect of, the, of, of Israel and from these heathen nations and these people that are in, in that, and our people that's in these heathenistic mindset. You're right? These people of this world, they're all consumed about uh, what we're going to eat or what we're going to wear. Okay, or what what kind of car we going to get, you know, what kind of, uh, you know, so, social status we going to have. They're all consumed with these things, man, because why? Because they're carnal. They're of this realm. So, of course, if they're of this realm, if they're of this world, of course, they're going to look to, uh, uh, they're going to look to please themselves in this realm. All right. But we know that we're not of this world. We know that this world, the fashions of this world is going to fade away. So why are you going to put so much energy into the things of this world? All right. And Yahweh Shai is speaking about the things that are even necessary in this world, eating and food. <laughs> he said, don't, 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 don't stress yourself over those things, man. What did uh, David say? I have been young and now I'm old and I've never seen a righteous forsaken nor a seed begging for bread. Okay. Meaning that the Lord is going to provide for us regardless, man. Okay. And the brother, the, 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 the men that are out there in my ways and byways. All right, they're not out here, uh, you know, uh, uh, bums, man. Okay, the Lord got us, got, uh, got us having, uh, uh, you know, jobs, whatever, so we can make our, 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 our wages. He got us with roofs over our heads. We got clothes or, or on our backs. Okay, and then of course you got times where brothers might be struggling, but then you got a brotherhood, man. You got a brotherhood that the Lord has given you to do what? To help, to help in a time of need. So there's no reason for us to be over here overly vexing ourselves with the cares of this world, man. Okay? Because when you do that, then that's when you be that's when you start to uh be indulged in in those things, man. That's when you just start to just always think about you know, I just gotta make make sure I get money, make sure I, I have enough money so I can get clothes, make sure I have enough money so I can get food. And then and then you keep meditating on that, meditating on that. You know, you might want to do uh, get two jobs. You might want to, you know, work OT crazy. So then now, instead of doing the work of the Lord, you you missing work. I mean, you missing doing the work of the Lord because you are over here stressed about your uh, your life in this world. Okay, but the scripture says that the men of the Lord they hate they hate they love not their lives until the death. Now, of course, once again, we gotta work. I'm not saying don't go out there and just be a bum and say, oh, the Lord's gonna provide for me. All right, that's being you know that's tempting the Lord and being foolish. But you gotta understand that, hey man. The Lord is going to provide. The Lord has us, okay? The Lord has has his elect. And the scripture says that no, no man can pluck them out. And the scriptures also say that the Lord would not give you more than what you can bear. So then you got to have what? Faith. And that's why Yahweh Shah said that. Oh, ye of little, little faith. Because if you think the Lord is giving you more than what you can bear, that means that you are questioning the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Because it's through him that we're able to bear it. So if you're saying that I can't take this, that means that you don't you don't believe that 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 Yahweh is, man, that he is. That he is capable and able to deliver you out of any and all situations. All right? So it says verse uh, 32 it says for all these things do the Gentiles uh to like for all these things do the Gentiles seek for your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. Okay? So the Lord knows that we have need of food and, and raiment and and and, and, and and you know a roof over our head. Okay, of a job so that we can, you know, get pay for these things. Okay, he knows that we have need of all these things. The Lord is not oblivious. Okay, especially to his, the Lord. Hey, the scripture says the Lord's ear is not short. All right, 
uh, arm slide. He says his arms is not short, nor, nor is his ears heavy that he cannot hear. The Lord knows whatever we need before we even ask, ask him of it, man. All right. Verse 33, it says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. There, take therefore no thought <clears throat> for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. All right. So tomorrow's going to take thought of the things of itself. So you over here being stressed and vexed and mad about shit that <laughs> you know you have to do regardless. You over here, you know, Sunday. You, you know, oh, fuck, it's Monday. We got to fucking go to work. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You do, you just, now you're just stressing yourself. Guess what? You still gonna have to go to work, man. You still have to get up. You still gonna, and it sucks. All right. I'm on my way to fucking work. And I'm stuck in traffic. It sucks. But guess what? Speaking, speaking about these things. All right. Doing this video is uplifting me. It's giving me the, uh, the strength for the journey of this day, man. All right. And right now I'm in this moment of right now of being at peace right now because I know that, hey, I see the prophecies being fulfilled, man. I see the Lord is dealing. Hey, I'm still in the spirit through the grace and mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I still believe, I still have the truth. So instead of me complaining about being in traffic and, and, and being vexed that I gotta go to work, I'm more, I'm more so rejoicing in the fact that, hey, they, they the water of the Lord he gave me the uh, he gave, he gave me you know he took care of me the fact that I have a a, a job man, all right to the fact that I have a car that I can go to work in, all right the fact that, and on the top of all that, I'm still believing in a promise to come and a hope to come, so I'm even better than everybody else that's in this uh, in traffic stuck with me in traffic because uh, these people in this world they have no hope to come man, all right like like the brothers of uh, uh in the Maccabees the seven brothers told. That uh, that king that was killed, he said. They said what? That they have resurrection, but he's not gonna have any resurrection to life. So we seeing these uh, uh, Edomites that are a lot of them sit in the same predicament as as us. You know, they stuck in traffic. They gotta get up and go to work. Okay, but they have resurrection to life, man. All right, that's why the scripture says, "Be not envious of the wicked that uh, of the wicked that prosper." All right, because their time is short, man. All right, you getting mad at the fact. That these, that these, uh, uh, that you know, that you might, your coworker might make more money than you, and and you know these uh, heathens are, you know, seem like they're enjoying life. Guess what? Their time is, their time is is at an end, man. We should rather rejoice that the fact that that they're uh, uh, that they're on top, because guess what? Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. All right, rejoice in the fact that you know that this place is at its last end. This is the last, this is the last song rock song. And you see how, how whack it is to them anyway, man. Okay, these Edomites, they're not over here, you know, uh, 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 walking around with grins on their faces, all right? They're trying to enjoy the, 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 the last dregs of this drink, man, <laughs> of this, of this kingdom. And it's not, and it's not much to enjoy, okay? And you see it, their, their economy is faltering, all right? They got in-house fighting, same house is divided. Okay. All these things is happening until until these Gentiles, these heathens, starting with Esau. But we, we got we got something coming, man. We got the we got we have everlasting dominion coming. All right, and that's why that's the peace that Yahweh Shai talks about when he said that he leaves with us, leaves with us, man. So I'm gonna say uh, read this again. It says, therefore, take no thought on the morrow, for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient until the day is the evil thereof. Okay, so you thinking about tomorrow's evil? You got evil that you that we that we dealing with today. Okay, and that's why, you know, man of the Lord, we don't say, you know, we don't we say, uh, Lord willing, about things of, of the of the future, because we don't know. All right, if we are even pro tomorrow, if if tomorrow is, is promising to us, man. Okay, so we say, Lord willing, we do this. Or Lord willing, tomorrow we do that. All right, but in today, <laughs> we just dealing and, and concerned about what's what's happening today, and we're content with what's going on with, with today because the Lord is taking care of us. All right, so um, it's another one, the Book of Philippians, chapter uh, four, verse uh, ten. It says, "But I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at your last, uh, but that now at at the last." 
It's a lot. But now, at the last, your care of me has flourished again. Wherein ye were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. Now, it's a lot. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, I am, I am, therefore, there would be content. I have learned, I know, I have known both how to be abased and how to be abound. Everywhere and in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. Okay? Meaning what? Whatever state that you're in, understand that you're supposed to be content in that state, man. All right? Not talking about, oh, I'm so happy to be a fucking slave. No. But understanding that, hey, the Lord is providing for us, man. That the Lord is 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 keeping us. Okay? Yeah, you're gonna have your low moments. You have your times where you know you broke. And you might you have your times where you got a little bit more bread. Either way, you're supposed to be content in that in that state. Why? Because ultimately the Lord knows what your needs are, man. The Lord knows that you that you have certain necessities that you need in order to survive the day. Okay? That's why, hey, there's another one. Let me get that. Um this is um, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 8. It says, In having food and raiment, let us be there with content. Okay? Having food and raiment, be content. You got, you know, you got you know food to eat, you got your daily bread. Isn't that in the, the Lord's prayer? You know, give us our daily bread. So you're praying for that. You're supposed to be content with getting your daily bread. Alright? You know, you got you got raiment, you got clothes on your back. You're supposed to be content with that. All right, you got a roof over your head, you got a, a car, you know that the, you know uh, uh, you know means of transportation. Be content with that. All right, don't be over here just complaining and murmuring all the time, man. Hey, the Lord, <laughs> the Lord destroyed those the, the murmurers, man. When he, when we was in the wilderness, the ones who was complaining, that that vexed the Lord, man. You see. Now, when we complain, we're supposed to complain about uh, uh, righteousness not being, you know, uh, uh, exacted, you know, on the earth, man. Complaining about the wicked of uh, these elites ruling and, and wickedness, all right? But complaining about how your, you know, how your life is going and always bitching and moaning, and, and, but the Lord is still providing for you, you know, hey, the Lord, that's that, the Lord is providing for you. The things that you have necessity of But here it is You're still bitching and complaining The Lord can put you in a worse position, man Alright You got people out here that are literally homeless You got people out here that, that don't have You know, the use of their, the, of their eyes The use of their legs Alright So you got way more to, to rejoice To thank the Lord about Even on a carnal level Okay Because you're doing You're able to watch this video Alright you might not be in a in the greatest, the greatest of uh, 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 positions, but you could definitely be in a way worse position, man. And once again, ultimately, you have the faith, you have the knowledge, you have the truth, the understanding, the wisdom, okay, which is which is necessary, and which is needed in order to gain immortality, everlasting life. So that right there is something that you're supposed to rejoice in every day about, man, and be and be gracious and thankful uh that you have okay this is um hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 it says let your conversation be without covetousness okay not always envying or being covetous of what somebody else have man especially of what these devils have because what these devils have it tells you in the book of james that their um that their riches is moth eaten man okay it's, it's uh the riches is a uh, 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 cankered so you over here rejoicing at the at the fact of what these the heathens have and, and these and these uh, uh and these Edomites have. Look, man, you don't even want that, man. You know, I don't we don't want what these devils got. Because what they got is not even comparable to what we are gonna have, man. And that's what you're supposed to meditate on. Okay? And it's in the scriptures to read about. Alright, the, the the way our kingdom is gonna look, and that was just a you know a over a overview. Of, 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 of our kingdom, man In the book of Revelation Alright The scripture tells you That eyes have not seen And ears have not heard Okay Nor have it Nor have it even entered Into the hearts of men What, what the Lord has prepared For them that love him 
So you can't even literally imagine what we're going to get, man, what you're going to receive. Okay? And that right there is is that brings joy to, to my heart, man. The fact that we know that, hey, the Lord, Lord is a man that he cannot lie. All right? Lord said that he's going to do it. It's going to be done. Hey, and the prophets, they already seen it. It's already been written about it. It was already a vision the Lord gave to, to the men. And we see it, man. That's why the scripture says that we're supposed to be able to see it far off. Okay? Not being so uh, nearsighted. You got to be farsighted, man. Because being nearsighted, that's when all the vexation, you get consumed with all the vexation in, 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 the, in, the, uh, in, the, in the current afflictions. When you ask all you just thinking about. But you got to think about being, uh, you got to be able to look far off. All right, see past the affliction, see past the persecution, see past the uh, the hell. That's what, once again, you go back to the Maccabees, those brothers that was being tormented, if they were being nearsighted, they would have uh, given up and uh, uh, eaten the pork, man. All right? Because the, if they would have just seen about the, the, if they were just meditating and, and thinking about the pain that they was getting, that they was currently in, they would have said, all right, fine, give, give, us, give us the fucking swine to eat. But they, but they seen afar off. That's why they was able to take the current affliction that they was going they, that they was going through. That's why they was at peace with with the with the uh, uh, torture that they was going through. Okay, because they was able to see afar off. They was able, they knew, and they had hope in the things to come, man. All right. The night Yahweh said, "What? Be a uh, uh, fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. It's going to please the Lord Yahweh." By Hashem Yahweh to give us the kingdom. It's actually going to please the Lord. And the scripture tells you that the Lord will uh, do all his good pleasure. You will do everything that he takes pleasure in. So it's going to literally please the Heavenly Father, the Creator, all right, the one above all, the Most High, to give us an everlasting kingdom, to give us unspeakable riches, to give us immortality, to give us peace, to give us the necks of our enemies, all right, to give us the kingdom of uh, the earth. To, to inhabit the earth Alright To inherit the earth I should say If it's literally going to please the Lord to do all these things Hey <laughs> We're supposed to rejoice in every day That we are in this truth man That we are the sons of the most high Okay That the Lord has opened up your mind To notice things man Alright So it is uh, Hebrews chapter 13 verse uh, 5 Let your conversation be without covetousness And be content with such things ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. All right? So be content with the things that you have, man. Okay? And be content with the things of the of, of what's to come. And meditate on those things, man. Give your mind over to those things. All right? And then, of course, you know, you're going to have the balance. You're going to be that. But that's what it's about, being balanced in it, man. Taking thought about how the righteous shall be saved. Instead of meditating and, and, and overthinking about how the wicked is going to be punished, think about your salvation, all right, and your rest and your peace, you know? So, hey, man, I, I, I end that there, you know, hey, Lord willing, this was, um, you know, uplifting and edifying unto the elect. You know, this definitely was uplifting unto myself, you know, to the, to, to the brothers and sisters out there, you know, meditate on the, on the, on the, on the, on the righteous things, man. Meditate on the on the good, on the peace that the Lord gave us, the comforter. Read, hey, read the gospels. That's why it's called the gospels, man. The good news. All right. The good news is for who? The elect. All right. The good news isn't for the wicked. All right. When you talk about the gospel, it ain't gonna be a gospel until until the people of this world, man. It's a gospel unto the ones who truly believe. All right. You read about the salvation. All right. Read about you know the 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 uh, the glory that shall be revealed in us. All these things, man, and and I promise you, you know, through the Spirit, you're gonna be uplifted, man. You're gonna be able to go through this, go through your day to day, you know, uh, uh, more upbeat. All right, more able, you know, ready to attack the 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 wiles of Satan, man. All right, ready to combat the the wiles of Satan, I should say. All right. So with that, Lord willing, this was our edifying to the elect. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai. And Shalom. And stay blessed, man. Shalom.